Hey everyone, today I've created this look for you just using some products that I've really been loving at the moment. So as you can see, it's a little bit peach, it's a little bit copper. I think I was looking at my hair when I came up with this look. And as always, I'm only using drugstore products. And now I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to start out with the W7 Camera Ready Primer and I'm going to mix this with a little bit of the Gosh Lumi Drops in the shade Vanilla. This is like a liquid highlighter, so it will just make the primer a little bit more glowy. You guys know that I love colour correcting, so that's what I'm going to do next. I was actually given this colour correcting concealer palette by NYX at a recent blogging event. Full disclaimer, I was given it for free, but that doesn't mean I'm obliged to review it. This video is not sponsored, etc. So I'm going to start out with this kind of orangey colour here under my eyes, and I might add a little bit of this pink shade as well. And then I'm going to use this green shade here and I'm going to use that on areas of redness and my blemishes as well. So far my thoughts on this colour correcting palette are that I quite like it. It's a lot more pigmented than my CC colour correcting sticks from Primark so I feel like it's evened out my skin a lot more quickly. This is something that I'm going to have to stick my fingers in and I know from palettes I've used like this in the past that it's going to get messy very quickly and it's not going to be this pretty for very long but I do like it. So next I'm going to go in with some foundation and I think today I am going to use this one. This is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in the shade Too Fair Beige. I do have a dedicated review on this foundation on my channel if you're interested I'll have the link on the screen and in the description box below. My skin has been much drier recently, I don't really know what's going on, maybe it's the change in seasons, it could be anything I suppose. But either way, I've been reaching for foundations that are quite nourishing, quite hydrating, things that look quite dewy. And then I just try to be very gentle when I blend them in. So I'm actually using a Real Techniques contour brush to blend in my foundation today and I've been doing this a few times recently. The trick is to just not be too rough with it when you're blending. I just like to blend very very gently when I'm using this brush and the finished result is quite nice and I like that it's quite small so that you can go over all the kind of more pigmented areas in my case. I'm just putting a little bit more foundation where I need that extra coverage. I do genuinely love this foundation by the way. Ever since I reviewed it, I've been wearing it loads. I'm going to do my eye makeup now and then I'll come back to the base later on. So I'm going to go in with the MUA Pro Base Eye Primer. And then for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this palette from Makeup Revolution. This is their Affirmation palette. I'm going to start out by using the matte ivory shade all over my lid to set the eye primer. And then I'm going to be going in with this matte sand colour. And I'm just going to use that as a transition shade. I'm also just going to define my crease a little bit more just using the matte kind of dark pink shade. Okay, so my camera stopped recording, so I don't know how much you've missed, but all I've done is line my eyes using the Essence Long Lasting Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate, and now I'm just putting some mascara on. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, as always. You can just leave it at mascara if you want to, but I'm going to put on some false eyelashes today. These are the ones that I tend to go for, not always these exact ones, just whatever I can find on eBay basically. And I always forget to say what eyelash glue I'm using, but I'm actually using the one from Eyelure. So after I've cut my eyelashes, I put a really thin layer of glue on the band. Then I take my tweezers and plonk them on my eye. This bit takes practice. That never gets any easier. Now I'm just going to use concealer. This is the 17 Stay Time Concealer in the shade Extra Fair. I'm putting that down the centre of my face, underneath my eyes, and also over any areas of redness as well. And then just to target any blemishes that are still visible, I'm going to go in with the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair, and this very, very tiny detail brush. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to set everything in place using the Stargazer Pressed Powder in Natural Shimmer. I'm going to take this Max Factor Creme Puff Blush in the shade Nude Move. I featured this in a recent haul video and I've been absolutely loving it. And I'm also going to take another Max Factor Blush. This one is in the shade 05 Lovely Pink and I'm just going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to finish off the base using this highlighter from Makeup Revolution. This is their strobe light in the shade Radiant Light. It's this beautiful kind of pink highlighter. I've been using it ever since I bought it. It's absolutely stunning. I'm also going to put that highlighter just on the inner corners of my eyes as well. And then I'm using exactly the same two eyebrow products that I use every single time to fill in my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to fill in my lips to finish off the look. I'm going to start with this Primark PS Lip Liner. I don't know what shade this is, I think it's rubbed off a long time ago, but it's this kind of really beautiful peach colour. I absolutely love the lip products from Primark, I'm always getting more of them whenever I go in their stores. I'm also going to be putting this 17 Mirror Shine lipstick on top of it as well. Mine is in the shade Belle. And this is the finished makeup look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you enjoyed watching me put some makeup on my face. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. I post a new video every Sunday at 9am and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.